Amber Rose as the Eagles win in three tonight. Amber, a great game for you and fellow middle blocker Kira. No, Coach Weissoff seemed to target you guys tonight. You guys were effective. What were you guys trying to do offensively? Um, well, we knew that they were going to be um, strong on our outside hitters so that we would usually only have one blocker on us. So we were just trying to hit the deep corners, and I thought we did a great job. And then if the set wasn't there, we just tipped, and that was really why we were so successful. Yeah, you guys dominated set one, but they made set two and three very interesting for you guys. How did you guys respond to that adversity? You guys are still able to win in three. Um, you know, we just when we get punched, we just it fires us up and we come back with energy and we just punch back. So that's just what we pride ourselves on and we grind through it. So. You know, after a, after an 0-2 trip to Hawaii, you guys have won two straight here on a roll. How do you feel about your team as you guys head into next week? I'm so excited to be a part of this team and I'm ready to play the teams we play next week. All right, well, great game tonight. Congratulations. Wish you good luck Thank next you. week. Head coach Paul Weissoff, the Eagles play a great match tonight, win in three. Coach, you want to talk positively about your middles? You guys focus on them tonight. They both had a really good night. Kind of speak to the effort that they had. You know, going in, our game plan, it, it's been the last couple nights to get them some more balls. We need to set them. And it was really nice tonight. We had a lot of one-on-ones, and the setters kept going to them. Um, our goals today were to dig to convert, so try and get them also in transition, get the ball up, and uh, convert for the point. And I thought we hit all our goals. Our goals were to first ball slide out at uh, 38%, and then uh, we've um, sided out close to 65 So we hit our numbers. It was a tough match as far as it was very close. I think the girls got a little bit anxious in that sense, but then they settled down. They were able to come back set two and finish it out in set three. Um, but we actually had some really good numbers in there. You know, you guys were challenged at the end of set two and set three. How does that help you guys as the season goes along to respond positively to adversity like that? I think any time you play matches like that, it helps you be better. I mean, you can't even, even simulate that in practice. So, you know, it was nice. We got that one. We've lost a few of those. And, you know, lately, Point Lomo, we won 25-23 and a set like that. And so we won a few in the last couple of days, which is nice. You guys have a unique uh, set coming up. You're going to travel tomorrow and then play Dixie State on Monday. What kind of challenges are a long tri road trip like that with uh, just one travel day? You know, it'll be interesting. The whole schedule we have is pretty brutal. We have, so, I mean, we go to Dixie State, we play Monday, we come back Tuesday, we play Saturday, and then we have Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and then the next week we have three matches in Northern California. So we just got to grind. That's what we've said since the beginning. The schedule is not really accommodating for any school. And you, you know, our first year in this, we haven't been in this situation. So we're just learning how to just, you know, it is what it is and do the best we can. All right, Coach, you guys certainly returned home playing well lately, and we hope to continue it at Dixie State. So we wish you good luck. Thank you.